Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, July 22nd, 2020 edition of the Sands and the Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Jan today took a look at how exposed systems changed during various COVID-19 lockdown periods in different countries. It has been widely reported how services like SSH, Telnet, RDP, and VNC were more exposed after certain restrictions on movement were implemented. But uh, Jan is now looking at it sort of on a country by country level and found some significant differences there. First of all, in the type of protocols uh, being opened up and also how quickly they were sort of being turned off again after the restrictions were lifted. One interesting outliers was actually the USA, where not really all that much changed overall. The total number of RDP services exposed actually consistently fell and not really sort of in line necessarily with any restrictions, which may also in part be due to the more regional nature of the restrictions in the United States and the lesser extent to which they had been enforced. And Adobe published a couple of updates today, most notable for Photoshop. Uh, the vulnerability is rated as critical as it does allow code execution. However, its priority level is only three, indicating that exploitation is unlikely. Now, these random updates from Adobe have often and here again been labeled as emergency patches. Adobe has in general moved away from the patch Tuesday cycle, which is really only important for its Adobe Acrobat product, which has to coordinate with Windows patches. So uh, these patches for products like Photoshop and also Adobe Bridge uh, today are not necessarily being released out of any kind of urgency and should also be treated just like any other normal patch. Probably deserving more attention than the Photoshop vulnerability is a vulnerability fixed in Citrix workspace. And it looks like this vulnerability may not be terribly difficult to exploit. All it needs is a crafted message over a named pipe and the spoofing of a client process ID. The actual vulnerable part here is Citrix workspace updater service that is then being tricked into executing arbitrary processes. And well, this happens using the system account. So leading to a complete uh, compromise of the system. Now, if you are implementing SMB signing, then the attack is a bit more difficult because now the attacker needs to have valid credentials. Without SMB signing, then they could launch the attack through NTLM credential relaying. The CVE for this particular vulnerability is 2020-8207. A patch is available from Citrix. Citrix also released a security bulletin. And again, Pentest Partners published a blog post with quite extensive details about this vulnerability. And well, if you are a Linux user and you always liked how Windows users had access to some great uh, sys internals uh, tools, you no longer have to look in Envy at your Windows colleagues. They appear to be becoming available now also for Linux. Microsoft, well, Sys internals uh, has released a preview version of process monitor Procmon for Linux. Now it has a curses interface, so it runs in a text terminal, but uh, seems to be quite capable. And uh, yes, you know, just like Procmon in Windows, you can use it to trace all of your syscalls. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.